All right, so I'm going to do a quick video showing how to open up and disassemble this Dell Inspiron 15 7000 series model 7547. So first what you want to do is just get a PH1 screwdriver and remove all the screws. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The four on the bottom here actually will stay in this plastic cover, so don't worry about it if they're not coming out. That's how it's designed. These four are supposed to actually stay in there. All right, so what you want to do after you remove all this or undo all the screws in this gap, you can use your fingernails or pry tools. I just get my fingernails there and then I use my thumbs on the back to pull it, push it in like that while I pull with my fingernails. Okay, it might be more difficult when you do it because I've already opened this one time, but basically just go all the way around just like this. Okay, you can use your pry tools, fingernails work. All right, this part might be a little tricky, but once you get all the sides and the bottom off, you can kind of like wiggle it like this, kind of hold one side down. I'll use my other hand to hold it down, and then you kind of wiggle it, and it'll come out like that. Sometimes it won't come out that easily. You might have to keep working and wiggling it, and it will eventually pop out. So it comes out just like that. So first thing is the hard drive. So the battery, you don't really have to take it out unless you're going to mess with the LCD or LVDS connector. Um, which is this cable here, but if you want to be safe, you can disconnect the battery and then press and hold the power button for about 15 seconds first. Most people are here probably just to change out the hard drive or the RAM, so I'm going to show that. So I already took out the four screws on this bracket. There's the hard drive usually here. It's a two and a half inch SATA hard drive. You can upgrade it to a two and a half inch uh, SATA SSD. Um, but anyways, you'd remove those four screws and then you can pull the whole bracket down and pull it out. Um, I already took it out because I'm cloning the drive right now, so I don't have that in there to show it, but you should be able to figure it out. If not, watch my other videos. Every hard drive is very similar to remove these kind of hard drives. All right, so to check the RAM, just pull up these plastic tabs to get this out of the way. All right, just hold it out of the way. To get the RAM out, you pull these two things to the side. The RAM will pop up like that grab the sides and then just pull it back. Here you can see this is a 4 gig PC3 12800S stick of RAM. So if you want, you can put more RAM. They do have 8 gig sticks, I believe, so you can upgrade this to a 16 gig total. Um, I don't think they have 16 gig sticks of DDR3 memory, so yeah. So those are the main things, all right? Then you got the CMOS battery here. This battery looks like you use like a small flathead screwdriver or something and you pull it that way. You pull it outwards this way and then you can pull it up. I'm not going to take that out because I don't want to delete their BIOS settings. All right, uh, let me take out the hard drive real quick. I don't know how long I can record this video because I have someone on their way. But let me take out the battery just to show you. So we'll take out this screw here, the one down here. All right. Out. All right, what else? We got another one up here. So you got three along the top, and then you got two on the bottom corners. Okay. All right, so we'll just take those out. It looks like it's held in with a cable here. So let's see if that's the connector for the battery. The cable looks like it comes out from the bottom down here, and it curves around. So let's see. So lift this up carefully, just in case. Yes, the cable's going around. If you look underneath, it's actually held down with some adhesive. So I don't know if I should rip this up, but let me see here. So to take the battery out, what you do is you grab as close to the adhesive part as you can, and then you kind of pull it back while you pull it up and it'll come out just like that, okay? You don't wanna just pull it straight up and, and then crease the cable because that can damage it, right? Once you get all of that out, grab as close as you can to where the connector is, but on the cable and then just wiggle it and you should be able to pop it out just like that. So the battery model number, if you need to replace it, is D2VF9, okay? We'll set that aside. All right, reassembly, you're just gonna put everything back the same way you took it out. So I'm not gonna show how to reassemble it, just rewatch the video and, and think about it in reverse. But you got the LED buttons here with this cable here. You got the touchpad connector here. I'll show one of these connectors, but basically they're all the same mechanism to get them out. Got the keyboard backlight cable here, which is this orangey brown bronze colored. Then you got the keyboard connector here. 
speaker connector here. The speaker connector basically comes out like the battery one. You basically just try and grab a hold of it and you just keep wiggling it like this and keep wiggling and it'll pop out, okay? All right, you don't wanna just yank real hard on it because you can yank the connectors off. Same thing with the DC jack here, which is the charge port. Um, it looks like it's just held in with some plastic pieces. So this one, you basically unplug it like the speaker cable and then you can pull it up. You might have to wiggle it a little to get it out. This one is the LCD or LVDS connector. I'm gonna press and hold the power button just so I can remove that and show you how that works. So I'm draining the power now that I have the battery removed, okay. Usually wanna hold it down for about 15 seconds or so to be safe, all right? Once you do that, you can grab this tab. The tab usually will break if you just yank on it. So what I do is I'll pull up on the tab while I get my fingernail underneath an edge of the metal piece of this connector and I'll pop it up. This one, it's really difficult to get underneath. So here we go, there we go. So actually the connector, it starts slightly above the board. So you wanna pry up on the upper layer. Don't try and pry underneath this bottom connector here. All right, I'm gonna just put it back in now. Just line it back up, push it back down. That's how you put that back in. All right, these touchpad connectors, you just flip up this little black latch here. All right, and then sometimes the latch will be white or different colors. So like this one, this, the latch is white. But basically you flip that up and then you can pull that back. If you, ha if you can, if you have good tweezers or something, you can pull on this little blue tab. But yeah, be careful not to bend this cable. If you bend it too much, you can damage it. Okay, so we're gonna put that cable back in. All right, make sure it's in all the way. That should be good, but let me double check, all right. Here we go. Then you got the wireless card. Wireless card, just like every other model. Actually, let me zoom in on that for you a little bit. All right, just like every other model, you just pull up on the tail and it will come out. You kind of want to pull up as close as you can to the connector. Sorry, my camera's shaking, but there you go. It pops out just like that. To put it back, just line it back up and then push it back down. Make to know if it's lined up. I like to rub my nail over the top. If it stays in place, I know it's in place and then I can push on it. All right, the wireless card, there's just one screw. You take that out and it'll pop up like the stick of RAM. You can kind of pull it back and that's how you would take out the wireless card. I'm not gonna do that, but yeah. So that's pretty much all there is to this model. Hopefully this video helped you guys. If it did, please like and subscribe so that other people can find my videos. Thank you for watching. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. I'll actually put the battery back in, but the rest I'm gonna leave open because I'm gonna have to put the hard drive once it's done cloning. Um, if you want to see how to clone or upgrade your hard drive to an SSD or larger hard drive, I do have a video of that in my playlist in general computer repairs, I believe. So if you can't find it, just send me a message or a comment, leave a comment below and I will tag you or I'll um, respond back with that link to that video. All right. Once again, hopefully this video got, helped you guys. Uh, thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. All right. Bye.